Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGM007 and today we're looking at a chess mini game. And then we've actually got something special at the end. Server Miner is doing a giveaway, so be sure to stick to the end to find out more information. So what I'm gonna do is join the game and I'm gonna get my other account to join as well and I'm going to show you a quick game of chess. Now, I haven't played chess in a very, very long time. Don't really know the rules, um, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway. So you can see there's a nice hologram up here showing the teams and the time. And then it is currently not my turn, so I need to get my other account to move one of the pawns. So all you need to do is left click whichever bit you want to move. So let's move this pawn two spaces forwards, uh, which is a legal move. So the really cool thing about this plugin, it has all of the moves that chess has. So if you try to make an illegal move, it's not going to allow you to do it. So now I can use my pawn to go diagonal to take his pawn. But this is a good example of how the plugin works. It's really well made and it's a very, very cool idea. So the first thing we want to do is forward slash m chess create board and then give it a name. I'm just going to call it uh, 2, just written out. And then what we need to do is put coordinates after it. So just hit tab and it will bring up your current coordinates. And then it's going to spawn the chessboard right beneath us, as you can see there. I'm just going to use World Edit to get rid of all of this awful sand around it so we can actually make a little bit of a board. So I'm going to quickly use World Edit to create a board underneath. That looks pretty nice like that. And now we can continue setting it up. So the first thing we need to do is grab a couple of blocks for the leave and join buttons. So I'm just going to use concrete powder like so. When you're looking at the uh, green button, you can do forward slash M chess board the name of it and then we're going to go join button add and then we're going to call it something so let's call it button one and then the coordinates of it so just hit tab and it'll bring them up automatically then we can hit the uh, cancel button as well so make sure you're looking at that set cancel button hit tab for the coordinates and that will set that easy as that then we can set a few other things like the spawn location for the white player so um, let's set the set white start location here It'll bring up your coordinates, so hit tab to bring them up. Go over to the other side, and we're going to hit the same for the black start location. So just go ahead and pop that in with the coordinates. That's going to set that easy as that. And then over at the side, I like to put the hologram. So the way we do that is M chess board, uh, the name of it, hologram, set, and the coordinates. Um, you could probably see a theme in all of the commands, making sure the coordinates are right at the end. We can also set the time limit. So how long do you want the game to be? So I'm gonna set it to five minutes, as you can see there. There's a couple of other commands we can do. So the leave location once the game has finished. So M chess board to set out location and the coordinates, there we go. And then if you want to delete a board, you can do M chess remove board and then the name of it, and that will delete it. If you do M chess list, it will list all of the boards that you have created. And then if you do M chess board, the name and then info, that will just tell you all the information about what you've set and what you haven't set yet. So that is how you would set up a brand new board. Obviously you can make the arena a lot better looking than what I did. I just made it pretty simple for the tutorial. But that is how you would create it and then you could get you and someone else to join and play a game of chess in Minecraft. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated to 1.16. It was updated at the start of February. And then we've got a picture of a chessboard here, we've got some features, and then we've got all of the commands that we use to set up the board and then the permissions. So if you need any help, you can contact the developer. And we have a giveaway going on, as I mentioned at the start of the video. So the winner will receive a 4GB Minecraft server for two months and a $50 gift card for Steam, PlayStation or Xbox. Um, it will start on the 14th of February, so this Sunday, and it's going to end on the 21st of February. So if you want more information about that, head to the description and there'll be a link and you can enter and hopefully you win. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.